Wam Shah Wam is real. Baraka Ta Yahawa. Baraka Ta Yahawa Shah. Baraka Ta to my Malax, to my Ox. Kwam Yasha Allah. We uh, this is our piece of dedication class, 2018. We're just gonna run through uh, what it's all about real quick out of the book of Maccabees, showing how we did a, the Maccabees rededicated the temple after coming out of slavery, rededicated the temple to the Most High. They took it back, straightened everything up, got it back in order, and rededicated it. So that's what we uh, celebrate today. The rededication of the temple, uh, all praises to the Most High, and we get to go back and rededicate another temple because that's what we do when we truly get free. We're able to go back to our land, build up the temple to our God so that we can worship. Right now that land is polluted with the idolatries and fornication, spiritual fornication and devil worshiping that's going on in Jerusalem today. So that place got to be totally cleansed out. Restart it over. So, uh, like I said, it's the rededication. And they re the Maccabees rededicated the temple to the Most High. So we're going to start off with uh, why did they have to rededicate the temple? You know what I'm saying? Something happened to me made them have to rededicate it. So we're going to get that out of the second book of Maccabees, chapter 6, verse 1. <clears throat> the second book of Maccabees, chapter 6, verse 1. Not long after this, the king sent an old man of Athens to compel the Jews to depart from the laws of their fathers. To do what? To depart from the laws of their fathers. And not to live after the laws of God. And do what? And not to live after the laws of God. So they was getting our people not to follow our heritage, our laws, statutes, and commandments of the Most High God, but to follow the Greeks. <laughs> Read up. And to pollute also the temple in Jerusalem. To do what? To pollute the temple in Jerusalem. They wanted to pollute the temple in Jerusalem like they're doing now. Read on. And to call it the temple of Jupiter Olympics. To do what? And to call it the temple of Jupiter Olympics. Don't that sound familiar? Mm -hmm. Greek gods, Greek terminology. They wanted to turn it into a Greek temple. They wanted to pollute it and worship their god. Rio. And that Garzum, the Jupiter of Ju and Garzum of Jupiter, the defender of strangers. The who? The defender of strangers. You know what that go back to? That goes back to Zeus. Zeus's name in the Greek is Xenos. If you know the characteristics of Xenos, you know that Xenos was a god for the strangers. Mm -hmm. So when they went and conquered different lands, they brought Xanos, the God for the strangers, he had to defend the strangers, which made it easier for those people that got conquered to worship that God. Mm -hmm. Now let me show you some similarities. Jesus Christos, Jesus Christ. Jesus in the Greek is come from Zeus. It's the same thing. Isn't Jesus the God for the strangers? When they came conquering the lands, didn't they bring white Jesus? And say Jesus loves everybody. So it made all these strangers that they conquered want to worship Jesus. Not the ones that they didn't kill. After a while they just start worshiping Jesus. What they say today. Jesus loves everybody. Mm -hmm. Well do your research on Jesus. Central Borgia. Jesus. It, it even go before Central Borgia. The name Jesus. But you got to go back. So since we're dealing with the Greeks, you got to know what the Greeks were about. Read on up. As they did desire that dwelt in the place. Uh huh. The coming of this mischief was sore and grievous to the people. It was what? Sore and grievous to the people. The coming in this mischief. We didn't want to do this stuff. But we had cool Negroes, just like now, who come persuade the people. Just when they got the passes, they persuade the people. To accept certain things. To go against our God. Mm -hmm. Same thing with Christianity. That seduction spirit. Oh God loves everybody. Jesus loves everybody. No. Yahweh said I don't deal like that. Yahweh don't deal like this. Uh, read on. For the temple was filled with riot and revealing by the Gentiles. Do you know what riot and re reveling is? Riot and reveling is when you, like when you go to the club. Now they partying, they riding and reveling, 
So they turned the temple into a party house, oh. into a club, <clears throat> where they desecrated and, 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 and abolished our things for their own purposes. So they ended up worshiping uh, a Jupiter party. Let's see what else they was doing in our, in our temple. Read on. Who dallied with harlots. Who did what? Who dallied with harlots. So they was dallying. They was dealing with whores in the temple of the Most High God. And had to do with women within the circuit of the holy place. They was having sex with the women within the holy places of the synagogue, of the temple. Read on. And besides that brought in things that were not lawful. <laughs> Now, just imagine what things they brought in there that was not lawful. What's one of the main things they know? If you read through the Apocrypha and through the Maccabees, one thing that they tried to make sure that they made us do was eat the pork. Eat some pork. They go, they, oh, y'all don't eat pork? Bring it all in. <laughs> they going to try to bring that hog in our life. <laughs> read on. The altar also was filled with profane things, which the law forbid. Swine. Neither was it lawful for a man to keep seven days or ancient feasts. See, this is what our people don't understand when we try to tell you that the Greeks in the New Testament that it's talking about is Israelites. What did it say again? Neither was it lawful for a man to keep seven days or ancient feasts or to profess himself at all to be a Jew. So when you was in Greece or in one of the regions that they own, you couldn't even say that you was a Jew. Mm. So what you had to say, you was. Uh, a Greek. Greek. A Greek. Greek. Gentile, just like we do now. I'm an American. No, brother, you're a Jew. American. Yeah, I'm an African American. No, brother, you're a Jew. That's right. We couldn't confess that we was Jews when we was enslaved. We couldn't confess. We definitely couldn't do it then. They were trying to take us away from that. So it, what was it? it wasn't lawful to read or write. God. So you think it would have been lawful to keep the Sabbath? No, you had to work. That's right. We worked on the Sabbath. We didn't keep feast days because we kept pagan holidays like we do today. This is this is eerily similar. God. And you know, Negroes are so used to not being treated like animals these days that we'll take any name the white man give us just to keep from beating us or killing us. Yeah, our African American boss. Uh, yeah. African American. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Tell a, a so called African American, no, we got to do the feast of dedications. Mm -hmm. He said, What's that? Oh, oh, you know, you forgot because we've been in slavery and they had you doing Christmas right. because they made it unlawful, unlawful for us to do the things that we're supposed to do. Mm -hmm. And you know, that's true. Go to the black laws, you know what I'm saying? Black, black code, the code of laws against the black people. Mm -hmm. Everything was set against us. Being organized as the people that we are. They accept you being something that they made you. Mm -hmm. But they ain't going to accept you who you're supposed to be. They never did. Read on up. And in the day of the king's birth, every mouth, every month, they were brought by bitter constraints to eat eat of the sacrifice. So, hold on, let me go back. And in the day of the king's birth, his birthday... Every month, they were brought by bitter constraints. So they forced us in chains to come on the king's birthday. It's one reason why we don't do birthday. Uh -huh. If you look through the scriptures, they always did something to us on their birthday. Uh -huh. On the king's birthday. Or the king's daughter's birthday. Mm -hmm. It's always something around their birthday. They want to hit on a platter for their birthday. How sick is that? So it's say, and we were brought in bitter constraints. That's in chains. To eat of the sacrifice. And made us eat. Made us eat the pork. Made us eat the abominable things. Read on up. And when the feast of Bacchus was kept, the Jews were compelled to go in procession to Bacchus carrying ivory. Now let me show my people that our people is still doing these things today. <clears throat> the Feast of Bacchus, B-A-C-C-H-U-S. Pull this up. Look it on Google. The Feast of Bacchus, or the procession to Bacchus. Bacchus is a Greek god. Bacchus comes from the 
Xanos comes from Zeus. Bacchus is the God for the strangers. Xanos is the God for the strangers. Jesus is the God for the strangers. Look up in New Orleans. Crew of Bacchus parade, right? A uh, crew of Bacchus parade. Crew of Bacchus parade. This is what they do in New Orleans for the Mardi Gras. It's the same thing. They're not even changing the name. They're doing it under the same name. The Mardi Gras, the Carnival, mm -hmm. all these are of the devil. Mm -hmm. If you look at the floats, if you look at what they're doing around it, it's all lustful, provocative, lewdness against the Most High God. Demons and devils. Who put? Who even want to be around demons and devils? Hmm. Unless you a demon and devil yourself. Bacchus. That is not of the Most High God. We were doing it then. They forced us to do it then. We're willingly doing it now. Look it up. Crew of Bacchus. B a c c h u s. Mardi Gras is against the Most High. So if you willfully go into Mardi Gras. And you willfully doing the things that they was forcing us to do back in the Greek times. Read on. Moreover, there went out a decree to the neighbor cities of the heathen by the suggestion of Ptolemy against the Jews mm -hmm. that they should observe the same fashion and be partakers of their sacrifice. Mm -hmm. And whosoever would not confirm themselves to the matters of the Gentiles should be put to death. Should be what? Mm -hmm. Should be put to death. Freedom. Then might a man have seen the present misery. So they will put us to death if we didn't do the Mardi Gras. Now we will only do it. They will put us to death if we ate the swine. I mean if we didn't eat the swine. Now we willfully do it. They have completed their job. And our people don't even know it. When you buck back against that stuff, when you don't buy the pork, you are doing what the Most High wants you to do. You fighting against the oppression that you put in. Come on, when come you on. don't do Mardi Gras, you're fighting back. Come on. When you don't do these things that they want you to do, you are fighting back. So even if you don't want your family, you go go to their house and they eating chitlins and you don't eat it, you are fighting back. Uh -huh. Because they made us do these things. So why would I do something that they forced me to do? No, I'm not doing it. Because, they, you know, go ahead, mm -hmm. what you're saying. because if I willfully do it, then they win. Mm -hmm. go ahead, uh. It's just all about accepting, man. It's just like we just didn't accept it. Anything. Like the brother said, he did research and we've been doing this for years. It's not just not the people that knew all of us. Those nope. people all over the United States that oh. travel to New Orleans just to go down here and celebrate these wicked customs too. So we can't just say it's people from New Orleans. Yep. Come it's on. people from across the world. Negroes from across the world celebrating these yep. wicked customs. Right? Brazil. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. I ain't from everywhere. So uh -huh. man, it's just like Arabian. accepting, not doing no research, not doing no homework, not going through these scriptures like we're supposed to. Not having an understanding of what we're doing on a year-to-year -year basis, man. Come uh on. -huh. Let me get that uh, uh, 4 and 15, 2 Maccabees 4 and 15. The book of 2 Maccabees chapter 4, verse 15. Not setting by the honors of their fathers, but liking the glory of the Grecians best of all. That is what's wrong with our people. That's right. We're not happy with what we got mm -hmm. or what our fathers left us. We like it to what the Grecians we like it to what the Romans. We like it to what the Americans. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. The glory of them best of all. A Negro would say, oh, he American before he say he black. A Negro would say he American before he claim his family. Uh -huh. Because he like the glory of the white man best of all. Mm -hmm. We always like the glory of the white man. It's just like... <laughs> You got a friend to stay up the street, and your parents strict on how they trying to raise you, and they loosey goosey doing with the sneaking out the house, going to parties, and you like, hey, I want to do that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Same thing. Same thing. No Are you, it, they having fun. My parents strict. Jesus. Oh, because they got to let them run around and do lewd acts 
to each other and look at you. Oh, they start seeing that same Negro in and out the penitentiary because he ain't used to no destruction. Exactly. No structure. Just because that man, and it's crazy, man. Man, me and my brothers were sitting here and it makes no sense. We still try to sit here and figure this out. Why do brothers have to be manipulated to stay in order, thus says the Lord? Why do we have to manipulate out each other? Or uh, lie to you, uh, manipulate um, somebody rule over you for you to follow God's laws, man. We men, man, we supposed to be doing this anyway. And we got women and children at home, we supposed to be doing this anyway. We ain't got nobody rule, you ain't got nobody ruling over you at home. So it just appalls me, man, that brothers don't want to stand up and be lions and be what the most high called us to be. But go ahead, brother. You bring, you bring it in half. It's the truth. But this is why. Because they like it to what the Grecians do best of all. They like it the glory of the Grecians best of all. You want me to finish this? Uh, 16? You want me to read 16? Uh, That's all I wanted on that. 15. Yeah. We going back? Yeah. First Maccabees chapter 4. And get it now. We're gonna get into what the Maccabees did to bring the temple back, and the reason why it's the feast of dedications. So we're gonna start at First Maccabees chapter four, verse thirty-one, and we're gonna to read to sixty. The Book of Maccabees chapter four, verse thirty-one. Shut up this army in the hand of thy people Israel, and let them be confounded in their power and horses. Make them to be of no courage, and cause the boldness of their strength to fall away, and let them quake at their destruction. Cast them down with the sword of them that love thee, and let all those that know thy name praise thee with thanksgiving. Now what the Maccabees is doing, they're saying a prayer on how they need, how they want to defeat the enemy. they saying it specifically too, and they pray to the Most High. To help them defeat the enemy. Read on. So they joined battle. And there were slain of the host of uh, Lysias. About 5,000 men. Even before them were they slain. Now when Lysias. Is that right? Lysias. Lysias saw his army put to flight. They ran. Uh-huh. And the, and the madness of Judas. Soldiers, the austereness, the manliness, them was warriors. There wasn't no TD snakes out there, no no Joe Osteens, no Creflo Dallas. This was real men of the Most High. Ah, manliness. He saw the manliness. So what they said about them? <laughs> they was a bunch of queers and steers out there, huh? They sound like a bunch of steers, queers, me. There you go. Know? And how they were ready either to live or die. Violently, he went into Antiochus. Antiochus and gathered together a company of strangers. Mm, he and had to try to get some help. And having made him his army greater than it was, he proposed to come again into Judah. Then said Judas and his brother, Behold, our enemies are discomforted. Let us go up to cleanse and delegate the sanctuary. Mm -hmm. Upon this, all the hosts assembled themselves together and went up into the Mount Sinai. And when they saw the sanctuary desolated, and the altars profane, and the gates burned up, and shrubs growing in the courts as in a forest, they had just done hood it out. It just ran down. It looked like an abandoned house, abandoned building. Ain't nobody been taking care of it. Uh -huh. Or in one of the mountains. Ye the priest's chambers pulled down. They rent their clothes and made great lamentations and cast ashes upon their heads and fell down flat to the ground upon their faces and blew an alarm with the trumpets and cried towards the heavens. Then Judas appointed certain men to fight against those that were in the fortress until he had cleansed the sanctuary. So he chose priests of blameless conversation. Who? Who did priests you? of blameless conversation. Blameless. You can't say nothing about the men that he chose to go in there and restart this thing, man. A lot, a lot that we can say about brothers today. That's right. Read on. Such as, such as had pleasure in the law. They did what? Had pleasure in the law. Oh, they hated their brothers. Had pleasure in the law. They, they didn't. They didn't think they didn't want to do this work. Had pleasure in the law. They thought it was too much. Had pleasure in they the law. They had pleasure in the law of the Most High.
Most High God, who cleansed the sanctuary and bare out the defiled stones into an unclean place. And when as they consulted what to do with the altar of burnt offerings, which was profane, mm -hmm. they thought it best to put it down, pull it down. Least it should be a reproach to them, because the heathen had defiled it, wherefore they pulled it down. They defiled it with those with that uh, abominations that they had put on the altar. Uh -huh. <laughs> and lay up the stones in the mountains of the temple in a coveted place. Until there shall come a prophet to show what should be done with them. An Israelite. Then they took whole stones according to the law. And built a new altar according to the former. So they didn't just come up with their own design. Oh, I'm going to come up with my own stuff. No. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just going to yeah. camp how we want to do yeah, yeah, yeah. We already got the instructions. What they do? They went back to the instructions. They went back according to the, to the, the law. That's right. Read on. And made up the sanctuary. Mm -hmm. And the things that were, were within the temple and hollowed the courts. They made all new holy vessels. And into the temple they brought the candlesticks. And the altar of burnt offerings and the incense. And the table. And upon the altar they burnt incense. And the lamps that were upon the candlesticks they lit. Th that they might give light in the temple. Furthermore they they set the loaves upon the table and spread out the bales and finished all the work which they had begun to make. Now let me make this point. You know why they did all this? Because it was their stuff. Yeah. It was our stuff. Mm -hmm. They didn't go to start fixing up the temple and caring about the shrubs and all this uh -huh. because it was somebody else's stuff. It was our stuff. That was our heritage. That was our heritage. So they took pride in this thing, That's man. Right, man. That's right. And if this something was defiled, they let that thing go. We ain't finna wash it off and try to reuse it. No, build another one according to the law. Build some new vessels according to the law. Right. Because they care. Dedication. The feast of dedication. It's about dedication. That's right. If the Most High is dedicated to you, shouldn't you be dedicated to Him? Come on, come on. You can't have half around with this thing, man. Judas Maccabees didn't half ass with doing the Lord's work. Some people think you can just come in and come out. Mm. Some people think it's a game. Mm. Well, it's a game when the Most High leave you stuck out with these curses on them. That's right. As for us, we going to ride for the Most High, man. Ah. It's not a game, man. This is real life. Like I said before, this is perpetual. This don't even just stop at you. Right. If you got children... It go on to them. It's called generations. And please don't think. Please don't think for one second. Because we are pre-teaching or anything that we out on these corners teaching, man, that we do call ourselves prophets. We do feel like we chosen by the most time to do this work. Because we do it on a consistent basis. This is not the first day you have seen us. We've been you've been seeing us for years. But don't think that we're not still being chastised by our Lord. Yes. Don't think that we still don't go through the same thing that the rest of Israel go through on a daily basis. We are not them brothers that's going to make you believe that we are so super righteous. No. That we done already made it to the kingdom yet. No, we still up under that grace and we still trying to make it to the kingdom. Ain't nobody nah. saved until our Lord yeah. come back. Ain't nobody can say they part of the 144 or got their pity. That's right. Until uh -huh. he give it to you. That's right. Everybody who to act like that, you better look at what's going on. The Lord is posing a lot of stuff. That's right. So all these people who you think is great hmm. and righteous, that's right. Come they on. just men. Come they on. men. Come they on. just men. Come. We all are just men. Of the most high. Of the most high. Come. You know what I'm saying? You gotta come down from that. You gotta do what the most high told us to do. Though. That's right. And like the brother was saying, if uh, and I respect all my brothers. They come out here and do this work day in and day out. Sabbath in and Sabbath out. No matter when you believe you should do it, as long as you're doing it. Because there's so many people that will not do the work. So you've got to appreciate the ones that will do the work. Come. We may disagree on certain things, but I respect you, brother, for going out in the rain, sleet, and the snow come. to preach the word of the Most High God. Come. 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 I respect all my brothers. No matter what we disagree on, I respect you. Because there's so many of our people that will not even go to him. Won't go two Sabbaths in a row. That's right. That's right. Come. 
Come. So it's about dedication. So if you dedicated to doing the Lord's work, no matter what camp, no matter what group, no matter what, if you bringing up the laws of the Most High God and teaching your people their heritage and nationality, I respect you. Let me let me back on you real quick. Can I let me can bring I just, it let me back on you? Bring it out. I'm gonna I'm gonna bring I'm gonna bring this verse out for you. You know I'm still gonna let you bring it out, but I'm gonna bring it out. Uh, the Book of Luke. Mm -hmm. We're gonna go to the Book of Luke. Chapter 17, verse 20. Look at Luke. Look at Luke. Chapter 17, verse 20. I'm going to let him back on my brother, man, because even the Lord tell you this. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to read this and I'm going to let him uh, chop it on up because that's what we do. Uh, the book of Lamont, I mean, the book of Luke, chapter 17, verse 20. Mm -hmm. And when he was demanded of the Pharisees, when the kingdom of God should come, he answered and said unto he answered them and said, The kingdom of God cometh not with observation. <laughs> it ain't coming by looking for it. That ain't how the kingdom of God come. Oh, I'm looking for wait. Yeah, I'm waiting on it to come, y'all. I know the Israelites are going to It's going to come in 2000. <laughs> it's going to come in 2000. The kingdom of the Lord is coming in 2000. Uh, now it got to be 2020. Uh, it keeps skipping all this. 220. 220. 220 for sure. Yeah, the kingdom of the Lord is coming. He's cracking them skies. Don't get me 220. Don't get me the line because I ain't never going to say it. I'm mean. <laughs> looking for when Christ coming back because we ain't none of us going to see it. And the thing is, brothers, stop sidelining. Stop sidelining. And if you're going to sideline, do what the women and the children are supposed to be doing. Learn and stop. Yes. Because the real men get out there and put in the work. Then the men I want to hear the men is putting in the work, taking the bumps and bruises and going out here putting in the work for the most high. Uh, you know what I'm saying? It's the observation, you can't be no sideline man and call yourself a man of, of the 12 tribes of Israel, but you on the sideline with pump pumps. Uh, get in the game, brothers. Get, get in the game. You in the EA Sports? Get into the Lord. And let me get into the verse 21. Go ahead. Neither shall they say, Lo, here, or Lo, there. For behold, the kingdom of Yah is within you. Within so who? Within you. Within who? Within you. Nah, I thought it was the, the bishop. It's within you, bro. I thought it was captain. It's within you, bro. I thought, I thought captain and bishop in them hands. It's in you. Oh. <laughs> so, and, 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 and don't listen to nobody when they say, when they crack the sky, they put some hologram in the sky. Oh. Say, lo, the kingdom of heaven is there. Lo. The kingdom of heaven is there. We can say no. La. 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 It's within me. That's right. So you cannot. Don't fall for it, man. Mm -hmm. No man is over your soul. That's right. No man is over your soul. He can't shepherd your soul. That's right. <laughs> oh, I got to look out for the souls of my people. Mm -hmm. You not the shepherd? These are my people. Come on, man. I don't <laughs> think I can get out of court. <laughs>
and praise. He delivered them out of the hands of the enemy. That's right. We know. They decked also the forefront of the temple with crowns of gold. Uh huh. With crowns of gold and with and, and, and with shields. And the gates and the chambers they renewed and hung doors upon them. Thus was there very great gladness among the people, for that the reproach of the heathen was put away. They handled business for their people. Got rid of the, the Edomites mm -hmm. out of their land. All praises. All praises. Read up. Moreover, Judas and his brethren, with the whole congregation of Israel ordained, that the days of the uh, the dedication of their altars should be kept in their season from year to year by the space of eight days. Uh -huh. From the five and twentieth day of the month of of Castle. Castle, with mirth and gladness. Uh -huh. At that time also they built up the Mount Sion with high walls and strong towers round about. Least the Gentiles should come and trade it down as they had done before. Uh -huh. And they said there are a Grecian to keep it, a garrison, a garrison to keep it, and forfeit it, fortified, fortified best sure to preserve it, that the people might have a defense against Idumia. Against the Edomites. <laughs> that was the Edomites <laughs> who came <laughs> at us. That was 61. That was the Edomites who came at us. We had to defend ourselves against the Edomites. Like we always got to do. Like we need to do today. Come. But th that's how we know what we read not the scriptures match up to our people today because we just proved it. Sure. They liken the glory of the Grecians more, most of all. And that's that's what all this stuff, man, the Grecian, the football, the oh, basketball, yeah. the fraternities, the sororities in these black universities. Why did they, they don't, they have, they, you hear about more Greek Fraternities and sororities in black colleges than you do in in in, in, in a <laughs> man college. You know what I'm saying? They don't even deal with that nonsense as much as we do. You know what I'm saying? It's beat into our custom. It's branded into our custom. It was beat into us. We was forced into this into this thing, man. This is what nothing that God ordained us to do. Go ahead, bro. Can you talk? You know what I'm saying? So it's just like, man. It's either one or two things, man. You're gonna either continue to do. What your oppressor has forced on you, or you gonna change it and come back and do what your do what your Lord has ordained you to do. Uh -huh. You understand what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's either one, or you can either do what you ordained to do, or do what you was forced to do. That's that's basically what it boils down to. You know what I'm saying? So I mean, it's your choice because we do have brothers out here standing up doing what we ordained to do. You know what I'm saying? Regardless if you want to point the finger at any brother in here and say what we do. Or what we do wrong. Or we might have this sin. Or it might be this sin. We just mean it. You know what I'm saying? But what, what are you doing? Uh, That's the question. Am I doing enough to wake Israel up? What am I doing to wake Israel up? Instead of everybody pointing the finger at each other. Let's start pointing the finger at our damn self. Uh, seeing what you doing. Is you doing enough to wake up Israel? And I guarantee you we won't have so much division in Israel. If everybody turn their finger around on their damn self. Uh, uh, all praises. We got one more scripture for you. Bring it out. Huh? The book of John, chapter 10 and verse 22. But anybody or any Christian that think that the piece of dedication doesn't extend past just this point, <laughs> because it said in verse 59 of 1 Maccabees 4, verse 59, that moreover Judas and his brother, which the whole congregation of Yasharala ordained that the days of the dedication of the altar should be kept in their season from year to year. Generation to generation. Let's see what Christ did. Let's see what the Hamashiach did. The book of John chapter 10 verse 32. Mm -hmm. And Yahweh, no, 22. Huh? 22. Shalak. The book of John chapter 10 verse 22. And it was at Jerusalem, the feast of the de of the dedication, and it was winter. Wait a minute, too, man, cause <laughs> that clears up everything. It lets you know that they've been celebrating the feast. So this is not Christmas, coming. <laughs> this is not Christmas. They were selling the feast of dedication during the winter. 
They let you know that this time and this period right now that we celebrate the Feast of Dedication, that is still winter. That is not the new year. Time. Mm -hmm. Time. 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 If you follow for that new year, crap. Uh, uh, read 23. Verse 23, I'm going to start at 22 again. Okay. And it, verse 22, it was, at, it was at Jerusalem, the Feast of the Dedication, and it was winter. Verse 23, and Yahweh shall walk in the temple in Solomon's approach. And Yahweh shall be what? And Yahweh shall walk in the temple in Solomon's approach. Then came the Jews round right about him and said unto him, How long doest thou make us to doubt? If thou be Yahweh shall, tell us plain. So basically, I just wanted to show that Christ, during the time of Yahweh, they was doing the Feast of Dedication. Come, come. come. So if yeah, Hamashiach did the Feast of Dedication. Why we ain't gonna do it? Huh. And all it is is a all cultures have a spring. What well, Maccabees well, doing it? What that? What that? That, that, that probably that's before the New Testament. Yes. Right? Yes. Okay, nigga. So come, come, come. come. Okay, come. okay. Let's just make sure. Okay. Hmm. So basically, every culture has a winter festival and a spring festival. Even fall festivals. Come. Even summer. They just say all seasons. Every culture has those festivals. Ours is the Feast of Dedication. 